everyone, I hope you're well. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Seppi. I am an obstetrician, surgical trainee doctor, lifestyle vlogger here on YouTube. If you guys are new, please hit the subscribe button to stick around for the fun. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. It means so much to me. It really helps to reach more audiences who enjoy this content. Before I start off today's vlog, I just want to talk to you guys about a topic that I found to be quite important in this week of my life and that has been motivation. I've had a lot of things going on in my life, um, completing my postgrad with Harvard, I've had to submit my portfolio for my first year of training, I've had to revise for an exam and also wanting to work out and go to the gym and feel good about myself all whilst also preparing for a trip to go to Italy next weekend for one of my dear friends weddings. So it's been a lot to say the least and I feel like sometimes when we have so much going on it's really hard to motivate ourselves to want to sit down and in my case revise or in someone else's case it might be motivating yourself to go to the gym or working on some goals, doing something for your business or your education, anything that might be healthier eating, um, saving money, motivation is something that we need in all aspects of our life and i feel like we go through cycles where we have very high motivation and then it kind of drops off naturally which can happen but it's all about trying to find our way back up very quickly to pump ourselves up and i was reflecting on what i do when i lack motivation I thought i'd share some of my tips with you guys of how to boost your motivation so my first tip when i am lacking motivation is to write a list of everything that i need to do sometimes i lack motivation simply because there is so much that I think that I need to do in my head and I really need to kind of like configure a plan of action and just the thought of how much I need to do scares me off or making that plan of action scares me off um, so I feel like in order to motivate myself I just need to first sit down and show myself how much it is I need to do and how I plan on breaking that down into bite sizable doable chunks and if that's not possible then crossing things off my list that I simply will not get around to doing. That way you can see that there's something, there are tasks that are achievable, how you plan on achieving them and it can motivate you to go ahead and do that. The next thing I would say is getting a good night's sleep. So depending on what time you're watching this, whether you are watching it in the morning or whether you're watching it in the evening, I would say one thing that you can go ahead and do right now to help yourself, to motivate yourself with any goal you have, is setting a bedtime for yourself. So that means if you set a bedtime for 10 p.m. and you plan to wake up at 6 a.m., you will have an eight hours of solid sleep and you should try and go into bed at least half an hour before that bedtime with your phone as far away from you as you possibly can. I don't know about you guys, but I find technology is a big distraction. That's point number three. So whether there's things that you can do, like putting your phone far reach away from you when you're going to bed, before you go to bed, or putting your phone on uh, timers for certain apps or screen times and putting the screen time widget on your phone, that will help distract you less and motivate you more towards your goals. The fourth point I want to talk about is setting up like a vision board or a mood board. I have one on the background of my phone and last year it really helped me to achieve so many of my goals. Halfway through the year I'd already completed, I think it was 10 out of the 12 points on my vision board and that was because it was so obvious of what it was that I wanted. So for example, one of the pictures on my vision board from last year was Mindy Lahiri in the series The Mindy Project because in that series she is a high-flying successful OBGYN doctor and I hadn't got into my OBGYN training post yet so I was waiting to like hear back and I wanted that in my vision board as one of my goals because obviously I wanted to get into obs and gynae and I wanted a really good post. She was based in New York, I'm based in London and I wanted a London post. So yeah, my images and my vision board were very specific to my goals and when I did get in I just knew that I would. I know that sounds so silly but I feel like when you have a vision and you set yourself on that vision it motivates you. Also at times when I wanted to slack, so let's say I wanted to go out with my friends and not study or I wanted to um, skip the gym or whatever, if I had my vision board on there and it had the physique that I wanted or it had the job that I wanted, I would then be less tempted to slack because it would just be a quick reminder. 
So those are my top tips for staying motivated. I hope that you guys enjoyed this small segment at the start of the video. If you did, then let me know in the comments and I can keep doing this and I can discuss a new topic in next week's vlog. Anyways, without further ado, enjoy this week's vlog and don't forget, please give it a thumbs up. Good morning, I'm so tired. Not like sleepy tired, but you know when you've just woken up and you've not woken up yet. Also my hair is in a French braid still from yesterday. One of my nurses, Jean, put a French braid into my hair for me. So thank you, Jean. I don't think you watch my vlogs. Today I'm on call and I thought I'd walk you through my five minute makeup routine because I need to leave my house in 10 minutes. So I like to do my makeup really quickly and I like something that's gonna last me the whole on call, which is 13 hours. So yeah, I thought I'd just show you my makeup routine. Also, sorry if I still have my morning voice. First thing first, my It Cosmetics CC Cream in medium tan and my foundation brush is by Sculpted by Amy. It's the buffer brush, it's really nice and soft. If any of you guys are looking for a foundation brush. So I like this CC Cream because A, it lasts me all day. It doesn't change color on my skin, so it doesn't oxidize. It also gives me like just a nice all over even shade and it feels like I've just put a cream on, it's lovely. Then I just dab that in with my beauty blender just to make sure it's all on my skin. Dabbing fast but not hard, gotta be soft and gentle. Next up is my contour, I switch between this one which is the e.l.f. Halo Beauty Wand, this one's a bit darker, and the Milk Makeup uh, one. The reason why I use this bit less is because I've accidentally bought the lighter shade in Baked, but there's one darker, I think like bronze or something. If I had the bronze one, I'd probably use that one more for work, and this one more for going out, it's a bit more stark. So I'm going in with the Milk one. I just do my cheekbones where I see the light hit it in the mirror, and my forehead beneath my lip and I look at literally where the light hits my nose and then I do lines around that. I also take my nose contour all the way up to my brows. I use the Hourglass Concealer. This is very like thick. So be careful how much you use, especially for like a daytime look. I put a little bit under my eyes a little bit like a line like this just to lift with a little bit in the center of my forehead because my forehead is a little bit pink naturally and then just on top of my lip around my cheeks and my chin this you also need to dab very gently but efficiently and I put it upwards so I almost go from the line of my eye up to my eyebrow the way I lay my makeup down when I have more time, like not in the mornings, is very different. Like the way I do my contour, my highlight, it's very, very different. I probably should have you guys at like this angle. Oh wow. Sorry guys. Next I grab some Benetint. This is, I'm not sure the shade, but it looks quite pink. Maybe they've got just one shade. I wouldn't know because I saw this from my sister's liner. Put that on my cheeks. Tip of my nose. And then I use my Morphe blusher brush and I just blend that in. Then we're going to do lips. I'm going to use the Sculpted by Amy Lip and Shine Duo. I love this. Um, my friend Zena had this. Look at that. So one side is a lip liner. And the other side is a lip gloss. Last thing I do in the mornings is set my face and that's with a bit of Laura Mercier. I go between setting my face and not setting my face. Sometimes my makeup looks better when I set my face, sometimes it doesn't. Um, I think it depends on the weather as well, just if I've got like oily skin. So yeah, a little bit of powder, put that back on my beauty banner and just dab that under my eyes up to the bridge of my nose today because I'm feeling generous I'm going to add a bit of bronzer this is the dual brush in 14 and the Kylie bronzer brush these brows up and and this is the final look this is my makeup for work I would say it's very fresh easy light and very nice. Sometimes I curl my eyelashes too, actually. Let's do that. 
and that is it. Um, so this morning I'm on call today, it's a Friday for gynecology, so you guys are going to be following me around on my on call. Let's go to work together. Getting my steps in. I'm just on my way to radiology to get an MRI vetted, and I've done the whole world round on the job, so running around, head is chicken. So scans are all vetted and booked. Time to run to A&E and bleed a patient that's difficult. So I just had to run into theatres to see my reg to discuss some patients because he is still mid-operation and my regs have swapped. And now I am going to document some plans and then I'm going to see some more patients. The gynae on call doesn't stop. I know it's like the same, but it's three hours later, and I'm running back to the ward. It's Sunday today, bank holiday weekend. I went out last night with one of my best friends, Amelia. Amelia and I did F1 and F2 together, which is the first two years of training. And um, we're both ONG trainees, but we're in different deaneries. So she is um, east of England, I'm uh, London. So yeah, we don't get to like cross paths as much, but we're still very, very close and we live in like the same-ish area. So when we ha get the chance to, and our rotors allow, we hang out. And last night we hung out guys and we went big, me, her and our friend Jessie. Um, so it was really, really fun. And I woke up late this morning and missed my Pilates lesson. Um, which I'm annoyed about because I actually love that Pilates instructor as well. Um, she teaches so well. So I'm annoyed that I missed the session, but oh well, we move. I'm going to get ready now and then I'm going horse riding. Usually my mum likes to come watch me, but she's got a cold. So my dad is going to come instead. So I'm just going to put some makeup on, get changed and off I go. So I've arrived with my dad. He's going to be filming the vlog content for you guys of today's today's horse riding session. Are you going to say hi? Hello! <laughs> I'm driving, sorry. <laughs> yes, nice day. It is a nice day. Guys, tell me if you think I'm better than last week's vlog. I want to know. Definitely. You haven't seen me yet. We haven't even started. Because I saw last week and I compared with the, the, the week before, you did a lot, a lot better. We'll see. Fingers crossed. That was a really good session. I had a different instructor and she was lovely, Jamma. And what do you think? She was very good. I think one of the good you had. Yeah, 
and that was a good session. I wouldn't yeah. say I was better than last time. I think I was... Different design, different... Yeah, different learning style. It's Saturday, 2 p.m. Sol is back from Greece. I'm back. Do you want to tell everyone where you were, what you were doing for the second time round? So I went to Lesbos, which is a Greek island. It's the third largest. Oh, it's the third largest Greek island. It's really yeah. It's beautiful, guys. And they have, uh, since 2015, 2016, they've had a massive refugee crisis where people come over via boats from Turkey and they seek asylum in Lesbos because it's the first port of call into Europe. Um, so they come over, they pay smugglers and they get come over via boat and you all get on this boat and the smuggler uh, nominates one person so they'll look at you and they'll go you as someone who's capable you you sail so that person sails you all come over and um, it's really anxiety provoking you speak to patients and it's really really scary so Sol went there to volunteer as a dentist for the second time. Yes. Um, she raised money for the charity and donated it to them and then volunteered her time and her skills um, for the second time That's in the sad. past month in um, the refugee camp. So thank you for doing that. Pleasure. There's like different NGOs that are there, MSF, which is like Doctors Without Borders are there, CMA that I'm with, which is kind of like Dentists Without Borders, they're there and they've asked me to be a ambassador for them. Woo! So I'm so proud of you. Thank Obviously you. a result of your hard work and dedication and what like an honour to be you. an ambassador for a charity that you've done so much for. You know, sometimes I people it. I feel like become ambassadors for charities because they're just passionate or like they've done the fundraising side of things but it's cool that you've done the fundraising things, you've done like seeing the patients, yeah, you've them, done the groundwork things and you've been involved with the charity so I think that's like makes it even more cool. Um so I'm really proud of you. Thank you. We're now going to the gym. We're gonna get um, our pump on. Workout mode on. What was that? I don't know. <laughs> We're going away to Italy next week for a wedding and I'm I just need to, I, I ate too much this past week because so I need to make it go away this Guys, week. I don't have a dress. Order. We both ordered outfits, so in next week's vlog you guys will see what comes because they won't have arrived yet by the end of this vlog. So we'll try things on for you. But yeah, let's head to the gym. Maybe I'll show you some of our workout as well, actually. Oh, yeah. Does that sound good? Yeah. Okay, and then spa? Yes. <laughs> and concealer combo. I don't know what Sol I mean, has been stunning. using. Sol, it's, this is so, the foundation is so it's orange. It's by Mario. It's Makeup by good. Mario. Yeah. And the concealer is Huda. And the concealer is like so white. I think it's like shade number one. And then the, the foundation is so orange. Anyway, long story short, I didn't take my makeup bag and I used Sol's and Sol wasn't using her regular makeup because her regular makeup is still in her suitcase. So that's why I look like this, but Sol still looks great. Thank you. I feel so refreshed. Do you feel refreshed? I feel very refreshed too. We went to the spa after our workout and then we sat out and I did some revision. Sol did some like research, research. research stuff. And then now we're in Finchley Central because there is a new, there's well two new like Persian kitchens in 
uh, Pinchy Central and we thought why not try their food. Um, one of them is meant to be the chef from Bed and Jack which is like a Michelin star Iranian restaurant that I've actually tried in a different one of my vlogs. I can link that down below for you, you guys know, to watch. I've still not gone to Bed and Jack. Bed and Jack is actually lovely. I've been like three four times now maybe more. One of my best friends would only eat there for Iranian food whereas I'm not like that. Like I like I trying different trying. different places. Um, but that being said, when you have a really good yeah, something, like it's hard to then try other places. And, and also we're creatures of habit. But with Iranian food, obviously Iranians are the biggest critics, which is annoying, but like it is how we are. I'm even a critic, like. Yeah, definitely. So we're going to try this and we're going to see if we like it. We'll let you know. We'll let you know. I feel like my face is orange though. Now looking at it. <laughs> you need to just throw this foundation away. <laughs> So, for my followers who've heard of Tehran Jealous in LA, allow me to introduce you to the UK version. It's called Finchley Central. Tavazo. <laughs> Narcis is a Persian beauty lounge actually. Then we've Bad got Farsi. What about that one at the top? A home like Sarafia Kion. Farsi Milad. Hanu Farsi or Basta Mali. Malo Miss Jayan or not you. Sarafia Manu Tad. So, Baba. Becky <laughs> 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 Oh, Arash Gai Mardane, Vintage Barbers. And this is only this part of the Central, the other part of the other side is also Iranian. Guys, this is my dad's favorite one. He's friends with him. So, well, who are you loyal to? Oh, Mega. But Mega's not Iranian. I know, but all the employees are Iranian and they're lovely. They are. Here we are. And they are open 365 days a year. 24 in, hours a day. Christmas day. 24 hours a day. <laughs> We've got our chili cow, now we need to get the dough. Okay. You don't like the one with mint. No, do you? I hate anything with mint, guys. This is my favourite Alwan, Arbali, do you want this? and Memes. Like These what three are my favourite. You pick, because I like those three. Mm, let's go for this one. Kind of fancy Memes. You want the Memes one? And you want a. Guys, by the way, Iranians love this cheese. I'm just gonna put this out there. Do you remember when we were in Tehran <laughs> and everyone had this cheese in their house and they didn't want to say it because, well, if you're yes. if you're Persian, you know you know. <laughs> if you know, write it in the comments. That other people know. There's pomegranate juice. Do we want shagam or not? Oh, guys, if if any of you are Turkish and you follow me, this is the best. It's turnip juice and it's so spicy. I love it. Mm, my mouth is. Watering. We're gonna feel it's sick. <laughs> shopping when you're hungry. Oh, uh, okay. Sol is looking for, tell them what you're looking for. Which is yogurt, yogurt with... with shallots. And it's B-E-A beautiful. Beautiful. Let's 
secure the goods. Doo -doo. You want this one? Oh wait, this one's better, Andrew Man. There. Yeah. Big up, Andrew Man. Sponsor me. Send me the They do other things as well, Andrew Man. If you know, you know. Look here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you want anything else? Wait. I was going to buy gorgeous herbs, but sun isn't here, so there's no point. She gets excited for it. Oh, guys, Yekoyek. This one is on a mad home. A Yekoyek ketchup. So it's a mad home. Oh, yeah. So it's a combi's very national. Combi's daddy, yeah. I'm a mad home. And Yekoyek. Yeah, mad home sponsored the Iranian basketball team. Ooh. Yeah. On their uniforms, they would ride Guys, elites, if you know, you know. Look at that. The and then there's like the Andromane version again. And then on this side, you've got Shirini. Honestly, you could be in Iran if you squint hard enough in Finchley Central. <laughs> Soul loves a fireball at the moment. Water and, and this is Persian cotton candy. It's beautiful. This is just yeah, a bunch of mixed treats. If this shop is like got Turkish it, as well. It. Turkish stuff. Oh yeah, there's also like Donya stuff. You know Donya? No. Thank you. Ooh, and this is underrated, this Persian snack. Sohan. It's but really nice. For some reason whenever I have it, I come out with like spots straight away. Because it's hot food. You know what's right behind you? Look in that fridge. Bastani. Persian ice cream and faluda. Siarshu. Torchi. I feel like we're just doing okay. a tour of okay. the okay. supermarket. <laughs> Stop with our supermarket tour. <laughs> Everyone is looking at us, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, some of them watch the vlog, so shout out. Today's Sunday, I'm gonna end the vlog here and edit it so that you guys can watch it today but I have some huge news which you guys are gonna see in the next vlog. I've completed my postgrad course with Harvard, yay! And my graduation is today, I'm so happy. Time has literally flown by and what a year it's been for me educationally. I've learned so much from my training to teach in medicine course and I've actually used it a lot whilst I've been working to teach the medical students and I feel like maybe I could share some of my tips about that on the vlog um just teaching tips in general that I've learned from the course and how I found my Harvard course um maybe I'll talk about that in the next vlog with the graduation um but yeah I'm gonna end this vlog here I really hope that you guys enjoyed it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to me down below and don't forget to check out my other socials too my Instagram is Persian Bunny my TikTok is Persian underscore underscore bunny and I will see you next week. Bye!